Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, I want to report to you guys that Nokia makes the first call over 600 megahertz using existing hardware. So this is really good to see. Neville did say back at CES that they were already producing the hardware for the 600 megahertz. So once it's ready and it's cleared, they're going to be the first carrier to launch it. So that is really good to see. My thoughts on it, I think it will help T-Mobile the most. Expand coverage is what they're going to use it for. at and Team Verizon are going to use it to add capacity. at and Team Verizon already have across the nation low band bandwidth, and they will use this to enhance capacity in certain markets. T-Mobile will use the 600 megahertz to really get going on their coverage expansion and to get literally neck and neck with Verizon currently they have expanded on their coverage map but mostly by using roaming into Montana and South Dakota and North Dakota but with this 600 megahertz they could possibly expand into new regions with native network coverage so this is really exciting I'm looking forward to it on every network you know for the capacity enhancements on Verizon and AT&T coverage expansion on T-Mobile well and Sprint they didn't participate so they don't get any of the 600 megahertz so definitely really good to see this I hope we can start soon start seeing it being used on the live networks so I'm looking forward to that as well also let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are on this do you think it will really help T-Mobile gain quicker or do you think it will still take T-Mobile some time to, to really catch up to Verizon? So definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Give these videos a thumbs up. It keeps me motivated. It keeps me going. Like, share, subscribe. And this is Tyrone with Tech Life. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.